Hey everybody, this is Road Trip Dave here coming at you from Walt Disney World, back at last. Come with me to check out our room and parts of the hotel where we stayed for the first two days we were here, the Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort. As usual, make sure you choke slam the like button, leave a comment, and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to know when I post new videos. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram with the links in the description below. Well, this is it. This is the front entrance to the lobby of the Bay Lake Tower where you can check in. The Magical Express buses and Disney Cruise buses also drop off and pick up guests from here. And here is the old Contemporary Resort. Just love this building's profile. You'll notice that a sky bridge connects guests from Bay Lake right into the main concourse area where you can find Chef Mickey's and the Fantasia gift store. As we walk into the lobby for Bay Lake, you can see the contemporary style, but it's very subtle, which I like. I also love the tropical foliage. Now the main desk is a concierge and check-in desk if you don't check in online. Let's just take it all in. You can get to two elevator areas when you walk down the hallway on either side of the lobby. Our room was on the 12th floor. Yeah, this view was just amazing. From the elevator entryway, you can walk to the back side of the building and see a breathtaking vista of Bay Lake and Orlando area hotels in the distance with Bay Lake Tower Zone DVC pool area down below. From that scenic picture, we turn left and go down the hallway to our room, which was 8210. When you first enter this one bedroom villa, you see a sketch portrait of Mickey, which is a nice touch. To the right is access to another room if you'd want adjoining rooms, but my family's reaction to the view from our room is priceless, as you'll see here. After taking in the view, let's get a little more comfortable. This is the main living area with the fantastic view of Bay Lake and the Magic Kingdom. The oversized chair next to the TV is a pullout bed that can sleep one guest and the sofa can be converted to another pullout bed that will sleep two people. The kitchen and the kitchen island are next to the living area, but it has the feel of more space. The other side of this large living area also has a booth table, which can accommodate even larger families than ours. I really love the subtle contemporary portraits of Disney icons in the Bay Lake rooms, such as Space Mountain above the booth table. We're back at the entrance slash foyer in front of the sketch Mickey portrait. And to our left is a separate full bathroom, which is a wonderful amenity when you have three kids.
You'll notice the modern earth tones of the tiles and marble of the sink and shower, which really give the fully stocked bathroom a relaxing feel. Of course, I forgot about the storage closet, <laughs> which is located next to the adjoining room door. Disney provides you with a luggage stand and a vacuum if you need it. Right next to the booth table, there is another entryway, which takes us to the master bedroom and bathroom. The bedroom is furnished with a king-size bed and another well-done modern portrait of Goofy, Mickey, and Minnie above it. The master bedroom also has direct access to the balcony, along with a small desk and a 27-inch flat-screen TV. As we head back toward the master bathroom, we come across another storage closet, but this one has an ironing board, an iron, and a safe. And now we check out the master bathroom. Again, we can see how Disney did an impeccable job of fresh interior design with providing slight notes of Disney-ness with that Cinderella castle print above the Whirlpool tub. Oh yeah, I love this feature. From the bedroom, you can open the sliding doors to see through to the bathroom. This is especially awesome because you can still look out from the window of your room while sitting in the Whirlpool tub. From that part of the bathroom, we go into the toilet and shower area, which can be closed off to give you plenty of privacy. The shower stall has plenty of room, and another splendid feature I really like is that you can convert the water flow from the shower head to a rainfall shower. While I love watching Stacy, as any Disney Park fan would do, I think we need to check out the incredible view from the balcony. You can watch Magic Kingdom's Happily Ever After fireworks at night and catch a beautiful sunrise on Bay Lake in the morning while sitting and enjoying a cup of coffee. Oh yes, I definitely did that. Now we're going to check out the pool area of Bay Lake Tower, which is located in the back of the hotel building. The pool area has a bar and shower facilities shown here. I just love the tropical foliage and palm trees that make the landscape on this side of the building. It's just so relaxing. There are even areas out here where you can play foosball, cornhole, ping pong, and even a little putt-putt golf. As we catch a glimpse of the pool, we come to a kid's splash zone here, which is on the other side of it. Bay Lake Pool has its own slide, and it does not disappoint. The design of it is pretty interesting, with an almost 1980s feel with the glass blocks and blue colors, but honestly, it is a perfect fit, especially with this really cool tunnel to get to the slide's entrance here. The tunnel also takes you to the pool's hot tub, and behind that, a campfire area which overlooks Bay Lake.
The last feature I want to show is the soothing water fountain behind our hotel's lobby. This is a great place to cool off and chill. I hope you enjoyed our tour of Disney's Bay Lake Tower at the Contemporary Resort, Dave's Roadies. Stay tuned for future videos of Walt Disney World and my future live streams. Until then, laters.